Well, hi once again, you're here with Barry, and I've got a few minutes, so I wanted to cut a quick video, and I want to talk, though, maybe instead of following suit with so many other videos, let's look at a few things that you really need to do, things that are, I would say, collective to all of humanity. It really uh, doesn't matter where you live you'll be affected the same way. It doesn't really matter about what your beliefs are, you'll be accepted, uh, you'll be affected in exactly the same. So in other words, they're common to all of humanity. Uh, before heading there though, I wanna briefly touch about sanctioning and what's become of it, okay? Now, um, most everybody watching this video is going to know uh, about the US, and, you know, implicating uh, sanctions on Russia. Now, first of all, for all of the people that do like to study history in any depth, you're going to find um, sanctions never really worked or at minimal didn't achieve what they originally were expecting or hoping to achieve by implementing the sanctions. So, for example, You need to look at the effects of what your decisions are going to be down the road. Not just to snap decision and create something that might be opening up a Pandora's box and whether it was supposed to be done that way on purpose or not, that's a whole nother subject. But Look at what's become of it. Okay, initially, Russia's currency got clobbered. Initially, right? And when they started sanctioning and not allowing any of their ships or any of their oil to be imported to various other nations, everyone made this decision about going forward with that. Without, I think it was done on purpose. Uh, you can't make this many mistakes. You can't be 100% wrong or 100% right without intent. Okay? Anything that's random is going to be 60, 40, 30, 70, 68, whatever. It's going to be a mixture of both correct and incorrect, of both yes and no. Okay? So with what's going on now, 100%, they've been completely dead wrong on their decisions. So I think there's some intent. But moving forward, it initially shellacked the ruble. That makes perfect sense if, if you know, you follow currencies, and that's one of the hobbies I bring, uh, rather one of the subjects I, I bring up to the mentors. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a no-brainer, but if you take a look at the past four months, five months, take a look at what's happened to the ruble. You see, largely their exports were immediately slammed. But what Europe, and by the way, now they're deeply regretting it, again, they didn't see the effects. They made a decision. And again, I think on purpose, causing what will be coming, which is war. In any event, though, um, now look, so Europe, okay, they, they, uh, they followed along with Western nations, so, geez, India. Look, the Middle East is buying so much Russian oil now, it's ridiculous. I know, Saudi Arabia, play, the OPEC, they're buying Russian oil. Why? Because they're buying it on the cheap, and they're hopping it, just drop shipping it right into Europe and good old US. So I'm sure a lot of folks in those countries are noticing a substantial change at the pump. Thank your own people for that. Okay, thank your own people, your own elected. It's such a brain dead idea that it had to have been caused on purpose. Another thing that, uh, instead of again going the mundane, what everybody knows and is regurgitating, and they're all good, good people, but how many people really know that 
Russia supplies almost 50% of the uranium that the United States has to have. How many people knew that? Yet, so here's this country that willy-nilly poses sanctions on a nation that they are dependent upon. Again, you, you can't you can't be wrong 100% of the time without an ulterior motive. So the ulterior motive is deception, divide and conquer. The deception, which is going to become a reality very soon, is revolution and war. There is, uh, there's no, no more stopping it. There's, you could switch 100% right now from one political party to another political party and it ain't gonna make a difference. See, because what's fueled this, what's opened up this Pandora's box is governments borrowing over a vast amount of time without ever having any intention of paying it back. There are causes, I just said it, what it was. There are effects, that's what we're starting to just see a smidge of what's coming. You'll see a lot more come this fall, middle this fall. You're gonna see it progress rather rapidly because, and, and I'm always gonna tell you why I say what I say, because you're gonna really start to see the shortages that the lockdown had created again. Um, complaining about bad economies and blaming countries that you impose the sanctions on for causing the problem, to me makes about as much sense as fitting a screen door on a submarine. It just, you can do it, but it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna hold truth, it ain't gonna hold water. So now, you're probably asking a good part of you are, what can I do about it? About the actual scenario I had just mentioned, very little until people wake up and, and uh, unity becomes our weapon. But what can you do on the other side of it? Of course, that's gonna depend on uh, where you live on several factors. Um, the options to what's available to you, what you can afford, what you have, what you don't have. So that's all subjective to each individual. I just wanna bring across a few basic points that everybody should, and you're probably gonna know most of them, because you see, this thing has been made to be very complex by pointing fingers everywhere and getting your attention in every which direction, which undoubtedly brings stress and fear, which makes poor decisions, okay? but. Listen, um, consider the following. Stocking an awful lot of non-perishables. An awful lot of food that will not go bad. Uh, even though all of us have been hearing about this uh, for the last six months, besides finishing up our little house, uh, we've been doing a fair bit of that ourselves and uh, beginning uh, gardening, uh, like gardens, vegetable and fruit gardens and fruit trees all around the property around our little house, as well as growing in some other areas. It never hurts to be safe, but still we're stocking a lot of non-perishables because we understand how supply chains work. And uh, again, we're all going to be affected. The question is to what degree. So even though um, you know about that, how many of you have actually gone about and done it and paid some serious attention to the level of what you have? Again, to the best of your ability. Okay, A good quality, well-equipped first aid kit is going to be a necessity as far as I'm concerned, as well as a comprehensive book that what to do in case of an emergency, and I don't mean a, a little tiny pocketbook, I mean a really comprehensive book about that covers poisonings, that covers uh, injury from cuts to gunshot wounds, something that's going to be comprehensive, okay? Uh, prescription and non-prescription medicines and first aid supplies. 
goes without saying. How many of us, though, have actually done it? Again, let's say for a six-month period. Uh, a very important one is cash. Uh, those of you that know me and have uh, followed me uh, since the concept of this Something Feels Wrong website know I'm not a fan of institutions to hold your cash. Um, you should be making profits on it, not them. But again, look what just happened in China. You're going to see more and more of that happening because of the available cash reserves and the amount of debt that is owed that isn't going to be paid back, which is fueling where we're heading, and that's war. I would suggest if you have at least six months of cash. If you don't, what is available to you? Do the best you can. Don't stress about it. That's not the answer. And don't worry. That's not the answer. Do the best you can. And even if it's $1,000 or 2000 or a few hundred, remove it from an institution. Because that's going to happen like a light switch. And it's one of the biggest reasons that they're going to be going to digital or in what I believe crypto-based currencies that are government-owned. And um, the fastest way to stop a bank run is not have anything to withdraw, right? If it's all digital, there's nothing physical. So keep that in mind. Um, I made another couple little notes here, and uh, fuel is a good one to store, okay? Propane is a good thing to store. Those in apartments, again, you'll have to adjust to your own ability to do the best you can, but do something, okay? Everything's a decision. Even doing nothing is a decision. But make a better decision, a more productive one than that. Uh, and. There's a lot of information on the internet, and it's not my job or my responsibility to be bringing all that to you. That's, that's your own responsibility to invest your commodity of time. But these are just some basic things that will apply to everyone. So fuel is one of them. Begin stacking bottled water. So why wait until people are panicking? Remember the curves on the highway? Okay, if you know that's coming, and it is, Okay, you can be uh, in delusion about it or in denial, but it's coming. Okay, so the next time you go to your stores that you normally shop at, pick up another flat of water each time you go. So if it, you go twice a week, it's two a week, and you'll see what, how fast that builds up. You can do this. Most of you can. Um, another... Um, like I say, um, batteries or rechargeable batteries, okay? Make sure you have, a, you know, a fair bit of that around the house. Of course, I'm just mentioning a few common sense things that are collective to humanity for everybody, okay? I don't want to get hung up in people's differences. That's why a uh, big reason... Uh, We've been hoodwinked and we've all been fighting each other. Let's stop that. There's no need to agree or disagree or disagree rudely. We all have the right to our thoughts. But invest your time, put some things aside, and you know what? For the most part, everything will be okay. But uh, those of you that have known me, this is really the first time. And... Um, before shadow banning, I'm sure there were a few that are still with us after being shadow banned so much, but you know I've never once said, uh, and I'm not a panic type person at all, I'm actually quite calm about those things, but I am saying for the first time, this is definitely the time to do it and not wait longer. Okay, I'm not saying this is the time like I usually do, you might want to think about it, or I'm being a little bit more aggressive. Do it or you're going to pay the prices, okay? Because it has, it's one of the reasons we're back, okay? We got so tired of the same mundane. It's so behind the curve. I'm telling you now, folks, go back six years. You'll see our accuracy. It's not only from us. It's from other great sources that we put the time into. For the first time, I'm telling you now, do it, okay? We'll talk to you soon, and we'll continue on.